do it again. Pull back. Which is heavy, isn't it? More used to playing with a toy gun under the guidance of an experienced soldier, this youngster has a chance to see something a little bit more realistic at 75 Engineer Regiment's Open Day. Can't see through the scope though. Um, so we've asked the civilian population to come in. Um, generally they see us around going on exercises and things like this, but that's this to give them a more in-depth look um, and to see some of the trade groups, some of the um, capabilities that we offer as a Corps Royal Engineers and in particular 75 Engineer Regiment. Some of those who attended were lucky enough to catch a sneaky peek of the rehearsing bagpiper who tried to warm up his pipes on a cold day. And those who watched on clearly enjoyed the performance and recorded it for posterity on their mobile phones. And there were lots of questions from the public who wanted to find out more about the work of the sappers in their area. Now, like all members of the British Army, the sappers are soldiers first and then their trade second. Now, what you can see going on behind me is the operation of the self-loading dump truck. Anyone who comes through the door here today will get an opportunity to operate that. Or, of course, you've also got the truck manual loader. The regiment has a unique role within defence as they provide amphibious and logistic bridging. They are the only regiment to provide a wide water gap crossing in the British Army. Though the public didn't get a chance to climb on board the vehicle here, they did have a chance to play with other key engineering equipment, just like nine-year-old Levi. I was trying to get the jug into one of them tyres and I used a controller to conduct it to get into one of them tyres. How did you find it? Quite easy. <laughs> it's a busy few months ahead for the sappers of 75 Engineer Regiment who have a number of community engagements. This includes helping with the new Veterans Village that is set to be built in the east part of the city later this year. Jesse Arrow Phillips, Forces News in Manchester.